So the items you will need to start is basically a crayon, a piece of paper, and your scissors. So you want to bend your paper in half and you want to make a kind of curve shape on your paper. And once you finish doing that, you want to make sure you need to knit as much as possible because you're creating a pattern for a bag. Once you finish doing that and you're comfortable, if you have interfacing that, are, that is thick, you can use that. If you have something like a towel or a blanket, a quilt, anything of that sort, you could use it. And you want to bend it in half and then you want to make, you want to draw out your pattern on the quilt or the interfacing. Once you're done, you want to pin that down and you want to take your scissors and cut it out. So when you cut it out, you should get two patterns. So now you're going to take your material, your cloth, you want to double it and you want to put one pattern on top of it. And then you want to take your pin, stick it down just to make sure that the cloth does not move. And once you're finished doing that, you want to take your scissors and you want to neatly cut out the pattern on the cloth like so. Make sure you take your time. So once you finish doing that, you want to cut out the extra cloth and remove the pins. Make sure you measure it. Make sure you measure the cloth and the pattern. Measure the quilt together to make sure that it fits properly. So once you're done and if you have a ruler or, or something, you can start drawing some lines. So these lines are drawing is basically where I will be sewing, right? So I'm going to be drawing some nice um, boxes, some little squares on my pattern so you want to do that for the both of them once you finish doing that you want to turn it on the opposite side and you want to take your cloth you want to pin it down on top of the quilt or the interfacing that you have or once you finish doing that you want to make sure you pin it down as best as possible so that it doesn't move while you're sewing it so when you're done you want to turn it around and all where you have the lines you want to sew you want to sew on these lines and then when you finish you want to sew around this pattern so once you finish doing that you want to make sure you iron it off depending on the cloth that you have make sure you iron it so it looks good so once you finish sewing them this is how they look so then take your scissors and just remove the excess thread that you have to make sure you're knitting it so once you're done knitting in it, this is how it looks. So I want you to get your measuring tape and you want to start from one corner of the pattern and you want to measure the entire circumference of the pattern. So here I have 33 inches, right? So what you would do if you have another piece of um, interfacing or quilt, a long piece, you can just measure 33 inches of it. Um, for length and for width measure two inches I don't have a long piece so that's the reason why I'm going about it this way so once you measure it I just want you to draw out the two inches for the 33 inches two inches in width and 33 inches in length and once you're done doing that you want to cut that out for me I have to cut it out three times and join it together if you have enough you wouldn't have to go through all that so i am just cutting out all the pieces making sure that they look good and once i'm done doing that i'm going to join them together so i'm just measuring to make sure i get the inches that i need and i'm cutting out the excess cloth so now what you need to do is get your other piece of cloth and you want to cut out 33 inches and two 33 inches is le in length and you want it to be wide as 2 inches in width like the same piece of quilt that you did so you're cutting the cloth according to the um, quilt or the interfacing that you just cut out so as you can see I have very thick um, squares on my skirt as a pattern so that is about 2 inches long so here I did the measurement and it adds up to 33 inches so I'm going to just take it and measure it up to the quilt that I have in length and you could take your ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line going down the middle of that piece of quilt and the reason why I'm drawing this straight line is because I want to sew on it 
so i'm going to be sewing on this straight line to make sure that the cloth is well stabilized on top of the quilt all right when i sew it together so i'm going to turn this cloth on the i'm going to turn the inside out i'm going to take my pins and i'm going to base it together make sure that they stay together like so and um, once i'm done doing that i will start sewing at the middle of the quilt and the cloth to connect them together and i will sew right around so i'm going to go right around and sew and once i'm done doing that i'm going to sew in the middle so when you're done you, 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 your cloth should be looking like this you see so once you finish doing that Take off all the pins and just take your scissors and neaten up whatever you have to neaten up. Any piece of cloth you have to take out, just take out. Any extra thing you have to cut out, take, cut it out. So this is how it looks, really nice and neat. See? So now I'm going to take one piece of the pattern and I'm going to put them facing together and I'm going to start pinning them together like this. And this is basically it widens the bag it's kind of like the width of the bag in the middle there so i'm just going to join it together and the part that i'm pinning together is actually where i will be sewing so you want to pin the both of them together onto this um, long piece of cloth or piece of um, quilt or interfacing that you just sewn together all right so this is basically the middle of the bag you know when you open your bag it has this nice part in the middle so once i'm done doing that i'm going to remove the extra and i'm just going to add the other side so this is how it looks once i'm done so now you want to make sure you sew around it on the both sides so what i did i did a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch just to make sure that it doesn't come off once i'm done doing that i'm just going to knit it up as much as possible try not to cut out the thread that you just sew because the bag is going to open once you remove the excess thread you want to turn the bag on the right side and you want to cut out the excess that you have at the top that is if it is not equal so i'm just going to turn it on the right side and i'm going to put it down like this as flat as possible and i'm going to trim it and make sure that it looks really good and nice all right don't you don't want to have a one side higher than the next try to get it as equal as possible once i open it this is how it looks so this is what i'm going to be using to put on the inside of my bag so lay your bag down on top of it as you can see i have a part a side that is already neat so i'm just going to cut around and you want to make sure you, you cut at least one inch or two inches out because this cloth arm does not stretch so i want to make sure it has enough space so turn it on the wrong side and sew it together i did both stitches i did a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch for knitting in make sure you leave it on the wrong side so the reason why you're leaving it on the wrong side is because you have to put it inside the bag right so when you leave it on the wrong side the right side is what will be showing on the outside so i'm going to take my pin and base this around the edge of the bag the opening of the bag and once i'm finished doing that i'm going to sew it together so i always use two stitches when i'm sewing i use a straight stitch and i use a zigzag stitch so i'm just going to sew this part of the bag by using these both stitches so here this is how it looks once i'm finished this is how nice it looks so now i'm going to install my zip so i'm going to take my zip and i'm going to put it at the very center that is where the middle of my bag is i'm going to take a pin and hold it together and then i'm going to bend it and then i'm going to start taking my pins and holding it making sure i put it on the base of my um bag the edges all right so do not put it too much to the edges because you may have a problem when you're actually sewing the top of the bag which is the knitting area of the bag make sure that you remove the excess of the zip as you can see i have an excess for my zip that i want to remove so make sure you remove the excess piece at the end once you finish you're going to just sew around the bag like this where the zip is 
to make sure that the zip looks nice and neat so this is how it looks once you're finished you can just do one stitch and if you look you see i also sewed at the bottom of the zip so that it looks perfect it would not come out and the reason why i sewed it with black thread so that you will be able to see it clearly so this then you want to try out your zip and make sure that it closes perfectly what you want to do is measure the circumference of the top of the bag so here i got um i got 16 inches but i'm i'm just going to measure out 17 inches in length so i'm going to add an inch more so now i'm going to take my cloth and i'm going to cut out 17 inches in length i'm going to cut out the little squares and like i told you before the little squares here measure at two inches in width so that would be wide enough for me so once i'm finished cutting that out i'm going to make sure i take my tape and measure it and make sure that it is 17 inches in length and two inches in width which would be enough for me so once i finish cutting out the cloth i'm going to take it and i'm going to wrap it around the bag and i'm going to cut out the ex extra cloth like this right so once i'm finished doing that i'm going to take the cloth and i'm going to put it in half right like so and you can sew it in you can make sure when you double it like when you double the cloth like i did you can just sew it and you can iron it to make sure that you get it smooth so i'm just going to bend the, the cloth in half and double it to make sure that it is thicker so it is not thin so make sure you fold the rough edges of the cloth and then you want to start at the base of your bag you want to start at the middle of your bag and you want to add your pins right so the part that you just used to sew so this is the part that's not neat you want to take it and face it on this side of your bag all right and that is because when you sew it and you fold it over at the other end it would look neat so make sure you put your zip down inside because you don't want you don't want your needle to break when it goes over your zip try not to sew on the zip all right so once you finish and you do that you want to make sure you cut out a little extra and you want to fold this cloth inside as well and you want to fold it over the one that you just did so you're folding this cloth over the, the cloth that you just um sewn and this is because you want to make sure that it closes up properly all right so just give it a nice fold take your pin and hold it down like i did nice so once you finish doing that you're just going to sew around the bag make sure that um the rim of the bag is sewn twice do your straight stitch and your zigzag stitch so this is how it looks once you finish doing that you're going to turn you're going to take that cloth and you're going to take your pins and you're going to fold it over like this so you see how it looks neat and nice so once you finish doing that you're going to take your pin and tack it so tack right around the bag and make sure that it covers the part that shows the thread all right and once you finish doing that you're going to sew right around the bag once you finish sewing around the bag this is how it should look really neat and nice so like i said before i always do two stitches i do a straight stitch and i also do a zigzag stitch so now i'm going to take my time and remove any extra cloth that's there and remove all of the other the pins from the bag after i'm done doing that i'm going to take the zip on the bag and i'm going to try it and make sure that it works well and once the zip is working and i removed all the extra cloth i'm just gonna place the bag down and make sure it looks exactly how i want it to look so so far this looks perfect to me keep trying to zip just to make sure that it works well this is how the inside looks i really love how the inside looks everything looks good so far 
So now I'm just going to take my measuring tape and measure how long I want my handle to be for my bag. The thickness and width of the handle of the bag depends on what you want. So I'm just going to take another piece of cloth, measure the length that I need, and then I'm going to cut that out. Once I've finished cutting it out, I'm just going to measure it to make sure that I get the length that I want. Once I have the length that I want, I'm going to take that cloth and I'm going to fold it in. Like so. Then I'm going to sew it down like this. So once I've finished doing that, I can go ahead and iron the cloth and remove the excess thread. Now I'm going to fold it in again. I'm going to fold it in like this and I'm going to stitch from one side to the next side so from the top to the bottom once i'm finished this is how it looks this is the handle of my bag so i'm just going to fold it down nicely i can take my iron and straighten it and once i'm done doing that i'm going to sew from one end to the other once i'm done doing that i'm going to open my bag fold the edges of the cloth then i'm going to place it at the middle of my bag take my pin i'm going to tack it and i'm also going to do that for the next side Once I'm finished tacking my bag, I'm going to sew it. So I'm going to sew a triangle. I'm going to sew a square and then I'm going to sew a triangle. And that way it would keep the bag properly sewn and intact. So this is how the bag looks when it is all done and finished. I am proud of this work. I hope that someone learned how to make a cute bag or a purse for your daughter or just for going down the road if you feel like going down the road don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit on the like button and share this video with as much persons as possible it is me your friend shanika thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day bye bye